All right, everybody, welcome back to Sketchcraft Live Art Tips. Brandon. Yes, sir. I don't have a title for this. Let's just call this Brandon Tips or Mega Mega Potato Tips. Mega Potato Tips. Sweet. Sweet Rob, helps tips. Out lead, Rob helps potato, out lead heavy tips. Potato Tips, Mega Sound. Lead lead Heavy Tips. No, Mega Potato Tips. Someone needs to help me out with that. How about, how about Heavy Tips? I want to work in Mega Potato. So... When you uh, when, when you goof up, it's mega potato. So we're gonna know the difference. I didn't, I didn't think I goofed up, but I know you didn't. So this right here is something you're working on, right? It's right. A sketch cover. You sent me a photo off your phone, right? So yep. I'm gonna come over here and just quickly give you some basic guides on what to be doing here, right? Um, and I decided that the best thing to do would be to record this, right? So everyone else can learn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's start off with the first thing um uh let's just go right over here turn that down a little bit, a little bit more. Right. oh i should just play all right there we go and we just set that to repeat repeat all right just let the music play to keep us all entertained all right so first things first um, I'm just going to pick black. You need to keep your lines... This is what I call line quality. Uh -huh. Line quality is... Your lines here are like this. They're wavy. You'll catch up to that. Um, these lines need to be... curved and that involves taking the paper rotating it using your arm on a, as a broad sweep do mm -hmm. not take your hand and do these little scratches all the way down you know i mean i'm pretty good at it so it's hard to fuck up for me right now like that but i can already right. tell like this is like i don't know man it just is not working like um second of all like it's always best too when you're doing this to kind of like See how you miss these lines that would go where behind her little feathers? The little truff, she's got those little wrist truffles. Her hair would be going behind. Right, I saw it after I sent you the picture. Yeah, but... yeah, and then her hair would be coming back here. And then her hair would be this right here. It needs to follow through. It's called follow through. That's the term mm -hmm. that's, that we use called follow through. They need to follow through. This right here, bad line. By the hair. This needs to be nice and curvy. Uh, this needs to be nice and nice and curvy. This is the things that I really am stressing that you need to improve upon over mm. every little drawing. The ear here, that's no good. The ear here needs to be upright clear you can omit drawing in the hair area you can omit that uh, the neck shouldn't be straight the neck will be more of a curve and then we can add just a little bit of where her skin would show um, something else that you could pick up right away is you've drawn the eyelash area right mm -hmm. there's no eyelash area over here Amazing what a difference that makes. Same with like her ear. Like these are just things that when you get to, you want to make sure. I'm not using any special tricks too. I'm not using the path tool or anything right. like that. You know, like this can be one swoop. Gotcha. Okay, something else that scares the crap out of me, right, is here her leg comes here, here the foot comes around here. I got a feeling that if I didn't mention anything, when you shaded it, you would forget that there's a bend here where her foot would come out like this. 
so her foot is actually three-dimensional. And the cab area would come down right around here. So, so what I'm trying to say is, this area would be colored one way, then it comes out over the surface as you color. You catch my drift? Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you would have ended up coloring it like this flat now I know redrawing on sketch covers can be a pain in the ass so I think what you should do from now on is this version of your lines should be on a separate piece of paper that's the exact same size as a sketchbook area and you take mm -hmm. a piece of paper you go on a light board and you just mark out the area on that paper, right? Like you can't draw up to here or whatever, you know? And you make the little border. Then you draw her and then you transfer it to the cover after we go through this step. Okay. Right. So any changes you make, you make to that work in progress piece and then you transfer this to the cover, making certain that the lines are still good. Gotcha. Something else I'm not a fan of at all when it comes to you is your lips. These are horrible. These are no good. Your lips have these weird things where you do this on the bottom, no matter what happens, every time. You go up here, like this. I, I don't know why you do that. It doesn't matter what, I don't understand. Um, I'm not a fan of it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I've already drawn, like, how do I say this, like, I gotta work this out. You know, you need to. This isn't exactly what I would do, but. You, know, you need to take your time and start curving these things, too. Making sure they come off the face. Like there's actual. Like, you know, like they're kissable. I hate to mm. use that talking mm. to you, all right, because I feel feel very manly when I say that. That's not exactly what I would do right here, right? But, you know, mm -hmm. if I had to pick between that and this, what do you think? All right. I can make them a little bit bigger. You can see, but Rob, you're drawn on a computer, and you're drawn on the cover. Ah, no, no, no. Come on. Everyone knows. You're not at con, right? When you're at Comic Con, I give every artist the benefit of the doubt because that's a pain in the ass. You're at home putting these together. So you got the time. Noses need to always be three dimensional in their construction. Here's the basic shape. See how that's three dimensional? You use that. Let's come right under here. Fill that in. Turn that opacity down. And then we'll come over. And you know, if you need to zoom in, if you're doing these digitally, if you want to just take your time on a paper, you know, and at least black and white. Use those as guides. Turn that off and on. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. You'll see it in a second. Catches up. Yeah, I see the difference. This isn't because I'm a genius artist, right? I'm not. You know what I mean? And it's not the way I draw. It's got nothing to do with it. The mentality that we're trying to go here is that these things exist three-dimensionally on the shapes, right? So when I look at this face, I don't know what you see. What I think you see is this, okay? I think you see these lines that come around. And I think you know that there's supposed to be topography here, but your mind doesn't see topography at all times yet. You know, you know these lines exist, but you have to see 
topography. That these are three-dimensional shapes where things exist. All right, let's just mm -hmm. go ahead and just curve her face. Let's curve her. Let's, give her, let's not give her the Cruella de Vil here, bro. All right, I want to give her the Danger Girl issue two on those cheeks. All right, not Danger Girl issue seven. All right, big difference. No beaver teeth, no fucking Cruella de Vil cheeks. And I probably made her eyebrow a little too high that time, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. We adjust. Then this comes here. And then take the eraser right at the end, just make it nice little points. Right? Let them taper off. Uh -huh. You take the eraser and just kinda like shave off the ends there if they if they're doing this is why you gotta keep the pencil really thick, because what happened uh, really sharp is so this way you can get those nice little quick points, right? These tapered edges. You don't want, you know, that at the end. You don't want these little, these lines that go evenly out. This is called line quality. And I keep saying that because I remember you asked me like a year, like six months ago, what do you mean you keep saying that? I'm like, well, this is what I mean. Line quality. Quality of our lines. So let's just think about this. So this hair could be sitting on top of that. You see how much of a difference that makes? And you can go, whoa, whoa, that may not have been on the initial sketch. You gotta look at it though, you know? Right. And adjust and go, okay, so this is sitting there. And the more you see these things, the more your mind will be able to to see them, you know. Mm -hmm. I gotta, I gotta help train you to think. And then we want this to be nice and curvy, right? These, these, these are weak. These lines have weak. Then it's not confidence. I don't see confidence in those lines. You know what I see? I see a guy straining not to fuck it up. And you go, oh god, I better not fuck this up. Oh no, I better not fuck it up. Rob's <laughs> gonna fucking read my ass. Versus saying, okay, now this is confident shape. Maybe I'm gonna actually curve it more like this. I'm gonna give these things weight. Maybe those are too even. Those are too symmetrical. We don't want them to look like they were just copy and paste it over and over again. Those lines. All right. Yeah. And we make sure that that comes around. Maybe even. so that doesn't look like it's her hair back there. And that means these ears are nice and confident. And ooh, See that round? I always liken it to like, you ever notice the difference between the Super Mario drawings that would be like in the American drawn comic, and then you look at the manga and you're like, man, Princess Peach looks really three-dimensional. Yeah. And the American shit looks like some guy took a feathered brush and just fucking did the Marvel Comics treatment to it. Right. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like we want to, you, know, you gotta go. Those, you know, the Japanese are really big on line quality, man. At least they used to be. I don't know. I get it. You know, I can't speak modern manga, but <laughs> I mean, look, look at those little changes right there. Mm -hmm. How much different that feels, you know. And the thing that too, like her hair, we want her hair to be sculpture esque. So our hair is going to come down, and then we're going to take this line, we're going to follow it all the way through, right? Then this is going to have volume, it would come back here, so you're not going to see the edge. It's going to come all the way out. I'm just going to erase those lines, Yeah, And that means right here, we can make that kind of fold in, and maybe one, one more. And we can look at where that would go. Or maybe that comes right closer to the here. So that would come back like that. Uh, that's fine. Let's go over there. Like so, the next thing is I was always afraid of these fingers. I just think stuff like that. I think this pinky could be brought back a little bit more. Uh, 
or just sharpened up at the edge. It's this contrast between curves and sharps, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's neither here nor it's either here nor there. I mean, it's just it's subjective at this point. I don't think those are two. I could, I could, I could fumble around with this all night. Those, right. you know. I just think making sure they feel a little bit more solid, right? Mm -hmm. And then or around where they need to be and sharp. Sharp right at the paint. edge. Yeah, the hand, the fingertips need to be vicious. That's why you know when you're like, oh, Rob, you know when you draw the chibis, they look cute but vicious because I put the sharp angles on right where they need to be. You know. Uh, I think the other part now, right here. Remember her foot. I mean, it's a no. Technically, her ankle would be here. There, you know. Her would be ankle would be as far as on right here, and the heel of her foot would be in there, right? So it's there's going to be a bend here, and we know three dimensionally, it's going to come around like this. And you got to keep that in mind. So either you, know, you add a little line right there, so you know, right? Mm -hmm. And then this come out more like this, yeah. And then. You got that reference grid right here on your sheet before you trace it, you know? And so you can remember this is three dimensional now. That means also, like, see, like how this is like a little, you know? Just want to make sure you make it a little bit more thick, a little bit more thicker. Kind of reminds me of chocobo feathers. I like square would do like kind of thick kind of bubble like feathers a little bit. Mm -hmm. See that? Come here. You know when you when you when you lightboard this onto the cover, you got to make certain you don't lose the line quality, which is why I told you. You know, I personally hate lightboarding, but with sketch covers, there's no way. Unless you're at a mm -hmm. con, right? You're gonna have to lie board, and that means that you know on this stage you're focused on getting these shapes down right in the right drawing, and then you have to double down on line quality when you transfer it. You know, gotta make sure they're clean. Like, like that's that's better. You know? I'm not sitting here trying to like make you you know advance two years in two months. I'm just trying to, you know, be like, all right, you know, if you don't keep these things in mind when you start to do it, there's no hope. All right. Like right here. Okay. This comes like this. This needs to just be one line. Yeah. It comes out, and this can go right in. Yeah, and then you take that edge and you case in point that should be one swoop line and that connects So it looks like it's on the floor, like it's a base. Mm -hmm. And if she were a statue. And personally. on simplicity's sake. Maybe do something like... But that's a decision I have to make when you have to do something. I have to be like, uh, go this way. I don't expect you to get that. 
Or that same line can just come up from, from there. The trick here is this line goes up this way. And it's gonna come get that whole part. So that means it comes like that. And we might even be able to bounce her up there to get rid of that chic line. Even get rid of that a little bit. Just to hide some of that. Make her feel more more solid, more complete. Mm -hmm. You have any questions about this? Yeah. The the right arm where I did the elbow bend on the inside. Is that her right wrong? arm or my facing right? Uh her the one with the hand up in the air. Yeah. The part where the inside of the elbow bends. Yeah, what I would do is right here like this. I get why. So like technically that would come in. You don't you don't have to connect it all the way down. Yeah. All right. I understand why and how things connect. I just sometimes when I go to actually apply that, why they bend or turn, you know, then I get it gets lost. Like knees and uh, hips, hips are real sometimes hard for me to understand why they. <laughs> and we need to make certain we're picking one. So like rounded edges here or pointed edges on the feet. You understand? Uh -huh. They need to be the same. Consistency. Same with, like, this is where you draw through and go, okay, that probably would go like that. Probably a little much right there. And at that point, if you sort of end up with lines that are too close to one another, like this line is too close to this, mm -hmm. don't connect, don't draw this line. Just outline it. Because that line's going to get lost when you color it anyway. You want to be very careful, right, when you're doing minimal lines like this, you want to be very careful having a lot of these, like, little things together and then having big open spaces see how that looks weird mm -hmm. yeah when, when you're doing minimal construction everything needs to it's the construction exists you're just showing certain parts but the thing remember is is when you go to color this addition these additional lines they're still there so when you go to color you're gonna color where those lines would be and add the definition where those lines would be, but the line art doesn't actually have them. You get it? Yes. Like, it still exists. This is still here. Right? But you're not going to draw it. You're going to color it as if it were there and not draw the lines. It's still there, but not draw the lines. And for the new for the younger artists out there, that's that's tricky to remember. You know? I think a lot of times they see me draw these construction lines and they just... That's why I told you one time you were just like, oh yeah, I just do this and this and this and that. And that means I know 3D. And I'm like, no, that's... You don't... You're just doing that now. <laughs> you know? Because you're like, Rob told me to. You don't... You're not learning anything from that, actually. it's Now it's worse. You know? But the things that you draw that, like, like really just drive me nuts, man. Like I hate those lips. I hate them. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, desperate housewives, bad plastic surgery. Ah, <sighs> oh, you know. I'm like I could be Rob being mean, but yeah, I don't give a shit. You know. What's gonna happen, folks, is people are already thinking that. You know what they do? They don't buy stuff from you. They just move on. Right. It's like in Kitchen Nightmares. You know that show with Gordon Ramsay. Mm -hmm. when he's critiquing their food the common feedback is no one ever complains and he says yeah they just don't come back 
<laughs> okay? <laughs> so, no one's going to complain to you. They're just never going to come back to your table. Right. And then you go, man, a couple years ago, I was killing it. How come I'm not now? Well, that's why. Anything else? No, no, no. Well, now that I'm at, at your table, I got I to gotta step it up. Yeah, well, I, I have, I accept no excuses. So, I'm going to give you these notes and this guide, and you go back and fix it. Yep. All right? And then get back to me. All right, everybody, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. Instagram is a great place to hit me up at Sketchcraft. And, Brandon, where can people uh, go and tell you how mean Rob was being to you? <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Lead Heavy, L-E-A-D Heavy. All right, uh, we'll see you all real soon. Later. <laughs>